and there's a fear of that they're going to vomit they're going to get sick okay and uh, what happens is that uh, this time of year people are afraid well they're going to get sick from other people or they believe that because they're starting to think that other people are going to get sick then they start feeling sick themselves they start feeling like they're going to vomit okay and so a lot of times people uh, will stay quiet and won't mention this fear because they're afraid if they start talking about it um, that, that will bring up those feelings and then they're going to think that they're they're going to get sick and so this struggle got purpose and we grow so whatever role we have to take next all i need to know is that we'll roll with the punches y'all here we are here we are back with another episode another episode we're running it back we're running it back what is this this is day three day three of us deciding that we're gonna do midwest anxiety daily that's right y'all i was thinking about this if you got a show named a midwest anxiety daily midwest anxiety daily i mean you can only go daily right you can't go like every couple days or weekly or monthly i mean if you were going to go monthly you would call it midwest anxiety monthly but no since it's called midwest anxiety daily every day at 6 30 a.m you're going to get dropped it's going to be dropped on youtube instagram facebook twitter it's going to drop on your favorite social media you guys just have to tune in at 6 30 a.m every morning and you'll see it right there and uh, guys i'm really excited uh, I got clients today, lots of clients, but I got lots to talk to you about today. As I started thinking about what I was going to talk about today, I'm re really excited about these topics, y'all. Really excited. I got several. So let's just jump into it today. What's been going on? No, it's not what's been going on. It's what's been coming up. What's been coming up in client sessions? Okay, it's time for what's been coming up in client sessions. Let's talk about this idea of projection. Okay, there's these, what we call, uh, you remember in uh, cognitive behavioral therapy, we got cognitive, we got how you think, how you feel emotionally and physically, and behaviorally what you do. But when we, when we talk about the thoughts, when we talk about the thoughts, we have these things called cognitive distortions, all right? So your thoughts get distorted. They get skewed in various different ways. They, 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 they just get skewed. They, I don't know how else to say it other than your thoughts play games on you. They trick you, okay? They trick you. And one of the thoughts distortions is something called projection, all right? Now, I wanted to talk about this because I do a lot of projecting myself, and I have to catch myself, and I have to say, oh, Randy, enough of the nonsense, enough of the projecting, okay? You're projecting here, stop projecting, because these cognitive distortions, y'all, they don't help you. They don't help you. They're actually stinking thinking, you know, they're stinking thinking. And uh, so what a projection is, is this, is... I'm thinking something so let's say that I think that um, let's say that I well this is something that was true uh, before I got my eyebrows done shout out to Kate Kate at uh, Clove Studio that's right uh, big shout out to Kate but anyway she trimmed up my eyebrows all right and can you see can you see they're looking pretty good now because Kate decided to get her mower and mow them down but anyway um, when I was a child, when I was growing up, um, I would think that my eyebrows were big, um, and then I would project on to other people. I would think, oh, because I think they're big, then uh, I think other people think they're big, okay? And so when people would look at me, I would feel uh, insecure. I was thinking, like, oh, they're looking at my eyebrows. They're looking at my eyebrows, and they think they're big, okay? So the idea of projection is, is that you think something, and so you believe other people are thinking it. If you think it, everyone else must think it too. 
Now here's the problem with projection. You don't really know if people are thinking um, whatever you're thinking, right? I mean, the only way to know would be is to like go up to them and say, hey, do you think my eyebrows are big, right? I mean, that would be, I guess, a way to know is to ask them. But really, are we going to, I mean, if we're asking people all the time what we're stinking thinking, uh, then, you know, we're, we're looking for reassurance, right? So we don't want to go and we don't want to ask all the time. There's just this gray area where we just have to be like, I don't know. I don't know if they're thinking that or not, but if they are, then I can handle it, okay? If they are thinking it, I can handle it. Uh, but, you know, they're probably not thinking it. They're probably not thinking it. That's just me and my thought distortions. That's me projecting. That's my stinking thinking, right? And I just need to realize that because I'm thinking something doesn't mean other people are thinking it. So if you don't go up and ask them, if you don't have evidence to support that they're not thinking whatever you're projecting, then you just have to say it's your stinking thinking. Now, if you have evidence to support it, if someone said, oh, Randy, you have big eyebrows, okay, well, they're thinking that now, okay, because they're telling you that I got big eyebrows, okay? But the idea is, is if you're thinking in something inside, you can't just assume that other people are thinking that because sometimes that gets us into trouble. We think, oh, I'm thinking it, they must be thinking it, and so then we adjust ourselves or we react to our thoughts that we're putting on them, right? They're not thinking that, we're putting our stinking thinking on them. And oh, no, 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 then that's a slippery slope there, all right, that's a slippery slope. So, all right, y'all. Let's get on with this day. Let's get on with this day. Let's get to seeing some clients. Hope you're well. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in, somewhere I can find myself Okay y'all, let's talk about something that's coming up a lot lately uh, because you know flu is really bad right now that's what I hear flu is really bad uh, you know typically this happens every year about this time uh, people start getting sick and what that does is that triggers um, people that are afraid of vomiting so there are people that are actually anxious about vomiting it's called emetophobia right and there's a fear of that they're gonna vomit, they're gonna get sick, okay? And uh, what happens is that uh, this time of year, people are afraid, well, they're gonna get sick from other people, or they believe that because they're starting to think that other people are gonna get sick, then they start feeling sick themselves. They start feeling like they're gonna vomit, okay? And so a lot of times people, I will stay quiet and won't mention this fear because they're afraid if they start talking about it um, that that will bring up those feelings and then they're gonna think that they're they're gonna get sick and so there, it's the, the this fear the fear of vomiting there is this psychosomatic component to it where uh, I think that I I'm gonna get sick I'm gonna vomit and so then I start feeling that way, all right? And uh, the, the, so the feeling can also cause the thought, okay? So when we, start th when we start talking about cognitive behavioral therapy, what we have to do is we have to say to ourselves, just because I'm thinking I'm going to get sick or vomit doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna get sick, okay? Doesn't mean I'm gonna get sick. That I might feel like I'm going to vomit, but that doesn't mean that I'm actually gonna vomit, okay? Um, and what we have to do is behaviorally, we have to start working with them, exposure response prevention. So we gradually expose people to the fear of vomit. I would discourage you from doing this unless you've 
uh, read, um, are very knowledgeable on exposure response prevention, but we start gradually exposing them to vomit. And it may be just some, for some people, they, they can't even say the word vomit because if they say the word vomit, then it starts making them feel like they're gonna vomit. They're anxious that they're gonna vomit. Uh, so they'll say the, the V word or, you know, getting sick, but they won't mention the word vomit. So we start exposing them to the word, maybe some sounds, maybe some videos. Uh, we gradually work our way all the way up to making a vomit bag. Um, but this is true. This is this is a real thing, y'all. And I mention this because we're seeing an uptick in this fear of vomiting, a metaphobia. If you want to uh, research more about it, a metaphobia, just Google metaphobia. You'll see all kinds of information on it. Uh, but uh, it's a real thing. People truly do fear getting sick, and they will avoid all kinds of situations that potentially may make them get sick or vomit. All right, y'all? All right.